Hello, it's Scott Manley here, and today I would like to do some in-air refueling. Now, of course, there's been a few people who have already done this. There was a challenge on Reddit. I decided that I had to perform my own particular spin on this situation. So that is the mother aircraft there, and it is, in fact, a flying runway. Yeah, I'm not sure anyone has explored this particular combination of, uh, well, remote servicing of aircraft. But yeah, what will you do is you take a large section of aircraft carrier deck, attach some wings to it, and a whole bunch of engines, as you can see underneath. This whole thing can maintain level flight and hopefully take the mass of another aircraft landing on top of, on top of it. The deck is a 45 by 15 meter section from the boat parts and getting it to fly, um, well, it took a little bit of work to get it to fly. <laughs> a lot of test flights ended up doing this. But even with the added difficulty of running this whole thing under Ferrum Aerospace's enhanced aerodynamics, I persevered and finally got something that would actually take off under its own power. And when I say its own power, that power is being provided by a grand total of 14 jet engines all linked in parallel. And so with a hastily put together test aircraft designed to dock using the special docking nodes provided by the by the boat pack, I, uh, I set about trying to land this thing and of course refuel. And when I say thrown together, um, hastily thrown together, I, I'll point out that I really couldn't actually test this thing particularly well before flying it, so um, yeah, it ended up having all sorts of weird stall and stability issues. As I was trying to slow down here, it kind of starts to lose control and gets into this, uh, basically this longitudinal oscillation. What's happening is when I get, when my angle of attack is low, I have great control and so I can pitch up strongly, but then I pitch up so hard that I stall all the wings and drop my nose down again and this just happens in a loop as I'm trying to figure out how to get control of this thing. You see that I kind of just relax in a dive and hope that I can pull out. But uh, yeah, 45 degree dive at 200 meters, 300 meters, one, 100 meters. This is not gonna happen. Yes, well, never mind. Anyway, from this point on, I think I'll let old me do the vast majority of the narration. Okay, so approaching, approaching at 15 meters per second, 20 meters per second. Okay, we're going a little fast. Gonna need to try and bleed off some of this speed. So what I'm gonna do, yaw, 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 a little bit of a pit. Whoa, no! You know, it was going so well until he crashed. Okay, this is looking exceptionally good. We're just light. Well, well don't want to be too low. Don't want to be too high. Got throttled way back, so I should be bleeding off speed just a little. I lost my target. There is the target. And you know what? I think I think this might actually be going downwards. Can I dock before this thing crashes into the water? Oh. Banging into the surface. Bang! Oh, no, 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 no. Come on, gentle. Be gentle with it. Be gentle. Okay, never, this is not working. Okay. I uh, think I'll just leave that there while I fix the mothership and stop it crashing into the ocean. Okay, there we go. Yes, it is indeed descending at about three meters per second. So start pulling up as hard as it can. It really does not have great pitch authority. In fact, it's terrible. Uh, really, really is terrible. Okay, are we getting it? two meters per second vertical speed? Yes, uh, yes, under two meters per second. Now I need to get, this one is now going down, fix him and, oh, no, don't. <sighs> okay, yeah, that was not ideal. This is what happens when you're trying to fly two aircraft at once. <laughs> I think I just saw the the cockpit fly past the camera there with a clearly a manic pilot inside. Can we pull out of this dive? Oh, 30 meters, 30 meters, 29. Our vertical speed is about one meter per second. 
Ah, uh, 25 meters. 24. Come on. This is like some low level flying. This. <laughs> Look at this thing. Yeah, 20, 23 meters. I am pretty sure that there are actual aircraft carriers with carrier decks that are more than 22 meters off the surface of the ocean. They don't move so fast, though. You know, that carrier deck looks big, but the problem is I still have to hit a docking node on it. it I, I might as well just be flying a docking node, to be honest, but hey, it's all about the spectacle, right? There we go. So I'm aiming for the one in the middle there. There's one at the back. But the one in the middle is the real one that clearly has far more room around it. Okay, come on. No, no, going way too fast. Way too fast. Slow down. Slow down. No, nope, I'm just going to run off the front of it here. <laughs> okay, come on. So I'm just hoping that I can slow down just enough to come back. That's the great thing about these, is that you can practically land in reverse because the the runway is moving so fast. It's not really a runway, it's really like a helipad. I mean, it, it, for all intents and purposes, it's just a vertical takeoff and landing. And, uh, you know, this is like really horrible. I'm sure this is hard to do regardless, but I suspect that I'm making it especially hard. Oh, no, 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 don't crash into that. I suspect I'm making it really, really hard for myself by using keyboard. Okay. And so I need to roll it over. It it does roll... Yeah, the roll just adjusts the heading vector just a touch. Okay. Okay. Now we're... Ca we've now nearly matched velocity. We're moving at about one meter per second. Less than that. So I'm just going to move along the center line here. There is the docking port. And I don't know exactly where it is under this thing. Whoa, 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 whoa! No, 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 no. Gentle. Gentle. Be as gentle as you can. We're docking at about 100 meters per second. Come on. Must be there. Is that, oh, it, it keeps pausing and I think it's docking, but that wasn't it. it yes! Yes! We have docked! Excellent! Let's start this refueling operation right away. Okay, so we need a tank. Tank, um, and right click on this. Start transferring the fuel in. Why are we nose diving? Why are we nose diving? I'm pulling back on the stick as hard as I can, but it just seems to be pitching down. I think I'm, I've not tested it with a load in that position. Oh wait, no, no, the throttle get reset. Ah, quick! Okay, throttle up, 100%. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to pull out of this dive. Let's, uh, let's... Oh, why haven't... Why don't I have detach here? Where is it? Where's the node there? Give me the node! Give me the node! Get me out of here! Get me out! Undock! Now pull up! Pull up! Your life depends on it! Oh, wait. What the heck? There's something exploding. And I think I might have probably stalled this thing, so it's probably going to pancake into the ocean. They, oh, spectacular! Spectacular! Yes. Oh, but he survived! <laughs> but he's been knocked into the second dimension. Look, it's what, what it looks like if you're watching a 3D movie without the 3D glasses. But I will need to remember to re-engage the engines as soon as, as docking. I, I think that's a major design flaw if you, if you start refueling an aircraft and your engines stop. Yeah, as it turns out, you know, these kind of docking aircraft together in the air, is, it was a real thing that was studied. There was a whole program called FICON, Fighter Conveyance. The idea was you would dock fighters to a bomber, and that would defend the bomber during its, uh, you know, intrusion into enemy, enemy airspace. It was seen to be tactically valid, but, uh, you know, it kind of fell by the wayside when longer-range aircraft with air-to-air uh, -air missiles became part of the Air Force. Okay, so what I've added to this is a little pair of RCS thrusters, and I've got just enough fuel, hopefully, to perform some very small changes. Okay, there we go. So, I'm lagging behind a bit, but moving forwards, creeping down the runway. Yes, this has to be the slowest landing I've ever performed. <laughs> At least in relative to the runway, right? I wonder... I... I 
I wonder how well the brakes actually work, if I could touch the runway and use my brakes to stop myself moving. Okay, creeping in towards this. There it is. Come on, you know you want it. Come on. You guys want to get together and make that sweet, sweet airplane love for whatever you do. Oh, 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 crikey! No, 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 no. Okay, that was a little over... A little too much. Okay, bring yourself back down. Gently, gently. We don't want to knock the nose on the car carrier plane downwards. There we go. Now get yourself in there. <laughs> yes! And throttle up to 100%. Throttle to 100% and start pulling out of this death dive. There's still no guarantee I can actually pull out of this because I've never flown it with this particular load distribution and it. it's entirely possible that this thing is doomed unless uh, I can refuel before it crashes into the water. Yeah, my vertical speed is still increasing despite my pitch being back. Okay. So start transferring and we have successfully refueled. Time for you to get out of here. There. Okay. Now gently pull your... I said gently! Ah, oh, so crap. Don't crash into the Baron! No! Okay. Oh my god, it's stalling. It's stalling. Clearly the airflow over the deck interrupted the airflow over the wings and made some sort of weird, you know, effect. Man, this thing is awful. Okay. They oh, he stalled us again. I thought I had it. And now it's just a case of pulling this thing out of its dive before it plummets into the water. And... Four, three, two, one. And once again, we pull out with about 30 meters to spare. That, I would say, is a victory. But before I finish up, I want to step back and show how I actually had to get the other aircraft in the air. And yeah, it started out on the deck of this. Because trying to coordinate multiple aircraft in flight is pretty awful. So the idea was we launched into the air. And then once the time was right, once we had got the mothership into level flight, or at least flight where it was ascending rather than descending, we could undock this and then slow down and hopefully eventually come back. So what we do, yep, yeah, we undock and immediately cut the thrust to the engines. And once I'm sufficiently clear, the idea is that I will pull up and down, generating these big stalls, because the stalls increase the drag quite significantly. And they should hopefully... Oh no, no, this is not... No, 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 no! What? What happened? Oh, yes. Whole thing obliterated. <laughs> and there's the crew in there. Bits flying all over the place. Explosions! Explosions everywhere! More explosions than my GPU and CPU can handle. Oh, there it is. And this thing is not aerodynamically stable by any means. <laughs> I think I should have put the longer wing on the second set of wings because that might have made it more stable. Who knows? Who cares? These guys are doomed regardless. I like how that big square of flight deck kind of survives. Another fun fact was that I couldn't actually quick save because if I quick reloaded, the vehicle would spontaneously break up at that joint. Which put me in uh, the unenviable position of trying to save two separate crews on two separate chunks of debris. The good news was that if I let this thing just crash, it would slow its velocity just enough and the crew would survive. But as for the crew in the, well, the main power section, they essentially abandoned all, uh, all hope of surviving to the gods of chaos because in the chaotic rotation it was entirely possible they would land in a somewhat safe and secure manner. Such as this. Even in the direst straits, you should never give up, never surrender. I'm Scott Manley. Fly safe. <laughs>